I'm talking of being able to set up separate policies, a specific question around sites like YouTube where um, there's clearly a lot of useful information for teachers, but a lot of inappropriate content for students. Would that be a typical case of uh, a site that you'd be able to separate on the policy? Absolutely. So uh, I should talk a little bit more about how ESOF does this. Um, so first of all, from a high level, they have a huge database. Um, the biggest one out there, um, to my knowledge, with over 100 million sites actually already categorized. The other nice feature they have is that if you visit a site that's never been categorized before, that is not in your machine, it's not in the database, what it will actually do is it will phone home to ESOF's home base and basically say, what is the category of this site? If they've never seen the site before and none of the customers have ever requested it, they're going to actually dynamically categorize that site on the fly using a whole bunch of artificial intelligence algorithms. So then you'll get an answer back within a few seconds that this site is this category and then it's in your database. So what you find is that it dynamically categorizes websites on the fly so you don't have to worry about, well, my database wasn't up to date or anything along those lines. Uh, additionally, that gives them a lot more fine granular, uh, granular controls over separate websites. So instead of saying, you know, block Facebook, they can actually categorize the different pages within Facebook differently, or Wikipedia being a common example. Uh, so YouTube, actually, what they'll typically do is YouTube, actually, on their own videos, will rank websites saying you need to be over 18. Uh, which makes it fairly easy on the YouTube site because what you can do is block the page that will ask them if you are of sufficient age. Um, so you can actually easily say, don't allow people to watch any videos that require the age of 18 or older. 